This channel does not promote or encourage any illegal activities, and all content provided by this channel is meant for education purpose only. Wait, you're still paying for tools that students get for free? Let me show you a secret gateway to a free EDU email, the legit way, and unlock perks like GitHub Student Developer Pack, $100 plus in free Azure credits, free domains, Canva Pro, and a lot more. And no, you don't need to be a student or step foot in a school. You just need less than 10 minutes in the browser and a little bit of strategy. By the end of this video, you'll have your very own EDU email and access to over $1,000 in tools for free. But don't blink. One missed step and the whole plan fails. So smash that like button like it owes you money, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive in before this method gets patched. All right, here's where things get spicy. First, open your browser. We're heading into a little-known community college registration form. That's Dallas College. You know, the kind most people ignore. Now pause, before you rush in and start filling stuff out. Listen to this. Last time, I thought I was clever. Signed up, filled the form, and waited. I even checked my email every five minutes like it was my crush texting back. But guess what? I forgot O-N-E checkbox. Moral of the story? Follow me step by step without skipping part of the video, or risk ending up in the EDU graveyard like I did. Next, click on apply now. You're going to create a new account. Think of this like unlocking a free upgrade to life. On this page, select what type of student you are to start your application. You have to select a new college student. Now, scroll down a bit and choose option 1, apply to college. A drop-down list will appear. Click on Start Application. So, here on this page, we have to create an account before we can start the application. Click on Sign In. A pop-up will appear, now click on Create Account. You only need an email and a password here. Enter your email and a password. Make sure to read the password requirements. When you're done, hit Create Account. An email will be sent to you to verify your account. Now that your email is verified, log in with your email and password. And just like that, you're in the application portal. Before we begin your application, take a moment to ensure all details, name, birthday, and address are accurate and verifiable. This information is crucial for processing, so double check for any typos or inconsistencies that could delay your admission. Click on a Start My New Application. To ensure a smooth application process, please avoid using a VPN, as it may trigger additional verification steps. Your local IP address is sufficient for submission, no need for extra layers that could delay your review. Here, select Undergraduate, Applicant Type, Program of Study, Anticipated Start, and Campus Location. These are all mandatory, choose based on your preferred options. The process remains the same either way. Think of this as signing up for the world's most exclusive club, except instead of a velvet rope, there's just a submit button, and the dress code is accurate information. Time to craft your new persona. Open up your browser and navigate to an ID generator site. Take a deep breath while their security checks make sure you're not a robot. Ironic, isn't it? First, expand the All Countries drop-down, take your time scrolling until you spot United States. For best results, choose Texas from the state list to keep things smooth, unless you want the system giving you side-eye. Let's start with the Personal Information section, use the exact details from your generated profile as your reference. I'll walk you through each field to ensure everything matches perfectly. Remember, even small discrepancies can trigger rejections, so attention to detail here makes all the difference. Set country of birth and city of birth to United States and Texas. Don't forget that. Note, social security number is not required for applying or getting accepted, skip that part. Only fill in the mandatory fields and ignore the rest. Thank you. 
Now, moving to the contact information section, fill in the permanent address and email address. As for the phone number, I'll show you a website where you can get free phone numbers for OTP or SMS verification. So in this video, you're killing two birds with one stone, make sure to watch till the end and subscribe for more tips. Open a new tab and search for quacker.io or tempnumber.com. Quacker.io is a free online service offering temporary virtual phone numbers from over 36 countries. It lets you receive SMS without revealing your personal number. Great for signups and passing verification blocks on WhatsApp, Telegram, and more. Tempnumber gives you temporary disposable phone numbers from over 50 countries. Messages stay for about 7 days, and numbers refresh regularly, perfect for keeping your privacy and avoiding spam. Now, moving on to academic history. Pro tip, you don't have to start from the top. You can fill out any section first, just make sure you complete all required fields. For high school information, select I am homeschooled. You got that right? Alright, digital adventurers, here's where things get real. The next section is like defusing a bomb in a spy movie, except the wire you can't cut is this next button. One wrong move and, poof, you're back to square one. So grab some caffeine, channel your inner ninja, and follow these steps like your future depends on it, because, let's be honest, it kinda does. Pro tip, blinking is not recommended, we're in the no mistake zone now. Fun fact, 92% of rejections happen because someone rushed this exact section. Want to be in the elite 8%? What comes next is either your secret weapon or your greatest regret, no pressure. For emergency contact details, type any name. For the last name, use the one from the sample data website. As for the emergency contact phone number, you already know where to get it. I've shown you. We're almost there, nearing the end of our application. Now comes the Texas student residency questions. Here's how we'll handle it. When you get to application details and learning experience, follow exactly what I select, no guessing. Just one wrong or mismatch detail can get your application rejected or prevent you from receiving your EDU email. Once done, review your application. If everything looks good, hit submit application. After submitting, wait at least 24 hours to receive your free EDU email in your inbox. In less than 24 hours, I got a congratulations email from the school with my official student EDU email ID. And I already know, some of you will still mess something up and drop comments like, it's not working or this is fake. Don't be that person. Just follow every step carefully. In the email you receive, you'll be required to reset and change your old password. Copy your edu email, open the password reset link, paste the school email you received, enter the letters shown, and click next. Keep it as I forgot my password, then click next again. On the next page, it'll ask for a code sent to your Gmail. Enter the code and hit next. This is where it gets tricky. Now you have to create a new password. 
Make sure to keep it safe. And remember, your password must be at least 12 characters long or you'll get an error. And finally, after resetting your password, log into your account via MyApps at myapps.dccd.edu to verify your account. The link will be in the email, just click it and it'll take you straight to the portal. A Microsoft Outlook account will also be created for you. Don't skip this, it's all part of the process. To keep your student email safe, you'll be asked to verify with a phone number. Don't worry, this is to secure your account. I recommend using your personal phone number if you really want to keep your student email ID. And guess what? In the final part of this video, I'll show you how to protect your Edu email so it doesn't get deleted in 6 months. So don't click away, this final hidden tech trick is something 90% of people never learn, and it's the reason their free perks get cut off early. As of the time I'm recording this video, everything is working perfectly fine, there was not application fee. If you don't get your Edu email ID or your application is unsuccessful, just restart the process from the beginning. Alright, so you've got the golden ticket, your shiny Edu email. But here's the plot twist no one tells you. Most of these accounts vanish after 6 to 12 months, unless you know this one trick. It's simple, activity equals longevity. Your account stays alive as long as it not dormant. So once every few weeks, do one of these three things. Number one, log into your school portal, just once. That's it. And two, reset your password once a while. And the third, send an email to yourself using the Edu email address. I hope I'm making a point here. Yeah? That's how I kept mine alive for over 24 months. No tuition, no trouble, just tech freedom. And I used that time to build my portfolio, host my own site, launch a free tool, and even land freelance clients. Now imagine this. You're watching your friends pay $300 a year for the same tools you got in less than 30 minutes. How do you not feel like a genius? So, if this helped you, hit that like button like you're smashing student debt, subscribe for more digital shortcuts, tech tricks, and hidden gems. Drop her in the comments if you made it this far, I'm dropping an even crazier method next week. Edu required. No credit card. Just strategy.